The big conversation right now is AI. People are worried that AI is going to completely wipe out writer's jobs yeah. in general. Does yeah. there need to be some sort of hard stance in a contract for AI? Well, no one has a crystal ball. <laughs> um, I mean, some people have a crystal ball. They're the person on Olive who will tell your fortune <laughs> and stuff, but it, I, would, I don't recommend it. No one knows, so that's why we have to have it in our contract. What's going to happen down the road? In 08, we had to fight them about this thing, you know, called the internet. They're like, we don't know, you know, like, hey, content is going to start coming over the internet. People are going to be able to choose what they want to watch. Yeah. And the networks were like, no, nah, we don't think so. Maybe not. What should the stance in the contracts be on AI? On AI? We already laid out the terms, as far as I know, that says that if there's you know, anything that started with uh, a writer <coughs> that was then run through AI to be fleshed out or whatever, that we have to get credit for that. Yeah. If they want to just, you know, go on chat GPT right now and go, hey, come up with a great hit movie and that somehow works, great. It's never going to work. You're going to need a human just to come up with the idea. How, how come it won't work? Because it's just not developed enough, AI. They, it doesn't have the soul and the wits of a human. Yeah. So, they could never do Meet the Parents. They could not do Meet the Parents. Thank you for the shout out. <laughs> also, Meet the Fockers. And if you want to meet the, <laughs> meet the Fockers, they're inside the studio <laughs> gates, not paying us what we deserve. There's been software programs for at least a decade or so that sort of gener helps a writer generate structure and things and asks questions and you input things and that's that's super rudimentary compared to AI but you know will at some point AI and Hollywood writers find a, a you know a kind of a sweet spot where they're working together but you're still getting the good stuff from humans and the, yeah. maybe some of the less glamorous work from AI yeah I mean you know, look, it's easier to rewrite than it is to write. Yeah. And if, if I can give AI my idea and it bangs out a crappy version of a screenplay and then I can go in and go, oh, that joke sucks and rewrite it. Uh -huh. and, oh, this doesn't quite work. And re Yeah, that I'm not going to lie. That could be a great thing for a lot of writers. AI is going to affect anybody who's creating content to put out there because they can do a, a version of that. Yeah. But when it comes to Hollywood, and entertaining people and telling stories, yeah. that's going to be one of the last things that AI is going to be able to do, if ever. Yeah. I mean, ask it now. Go on ChatGPT and say, hey, write me a joke. It's going to suck. 